Scrum roles. There are three primary roles in Scrum. A Scrum master can be compared with project manager in regular sense, except that his approach is not top down in terms of authority. He is rather a facilitator and a helping hand for the team. The Scrum team comprises of developers and QA and any other members who are actually getting the work done. It can include members from user experience, document writers, etc. A product owner is the direct source of product requirements for the team. Now let's go through each role in detail. The Scrum Master As discussed earlier, the Scrum Master can be compared with project manager in regular sense, except that his approach is not top down in terms of authority. He is rather a facilitator and a helping hand for the team. He protects the team from distractions. The Scrum Master makes sure that whatever the team has committed for the sprint, they achieve it. He shields the team from external influences. Clears obstacles. He removes any impediments which are beyond the control of the team. Example, dependencies on other team, network issues, IT issues, etc. Addresses team dynamics. As team runs in a fast pace, there is a lot of room for conflicts. A scrum master should be resolving conflicts both at a team level and individual level. Establishes an effective environment for the team. Whether it may be infrastructure or team dynamics or communication plan or a process, the team must have an environment where they are highly efficient and productive and a scrum master must provide that. Ensures smooth communication between team and others. A scrum master acts as an interface and moderator in communication between the team and any other stakeholder, whether it is discussing with IT team or firewall or demonstrating sprint work to business users. The scrum team. The scrum team has to be self-organized. They take decisions together. Cross-functional. Now, there is a lot of confusion in real world on what cross-functional team means. But as long as the team has all the skills necessary to burn the backlog, then they are cross-functional. Now, there are arguments on developers being able to QA and QA being able to develop for a team to be cross-functional. But with test automation getting prominent and the advent of DevOps, this line gets thinner, doesn't it? Balance skills within the team. I have covered this as a part of previous point. The team should have all the necessary skills to burn the backlog. Team as a whole is accountable. It is important that everyone has a mindset that the entire team is accountable on success or failure. This would mean that if a member is lagging behind in commitment for the sprint, the others should voluntarily give a helping hand to pull him out of his delay. Zero dependency on a single member. Being cross-functional is one thing and depending on a member for a particular skill set is another. There should not be any dependency on a single member for skill set. The Product Owner Interprets a Vision Product management typically gives abstract information like vision and roadmap. It is the product owner who interprets and translates the requirements into sprint level details. Bridge between the team and business a product owner acts as an interface between the team and business or end users in translating the requirements. Defines priorities. A product owner is responsible for prioritizing the requirements in backlog. Top items in priority would need immediate attention from the team. He also helps the team in triaging open defects in the product. Manages product backlog. In essence, a product owner is the owner of the product backlog. Evaluates progress. The product owner reports to product management on the status of development and functionality achieved or shipped. In summary, he has the final authority on whether the team's work meets the requirements. We have covered three primary roles so far in Scrum, but there are hundreds of other roles. Let's quickly go through at least a couple of them now. A product manager is typically the person whom a product owner reports to. 
while a product owner deals with smaller chunks of requirements called user stories, a product manager deals with a superset of user stories called as features. We will talk more in detail about features and stories later in this course. Release Manager or Program Manager A Scrum team deals with a single feature at a time. There may be other Scrum teams working on other features in parallel towards the same release. So, who will be the person who monitors all the features together from a release perspective? This person is typically the one whom all the Scrum Masters report to. He is known as Program Manager or Release Manager. And in some frameworks like SAFE, they are referred to as Release Train Engineers. Architects drive the technical part of the team's work. They define the design guidelines, review design changes, perform architectural governance. Though they are not part of the sprint ceremonies, they are typically involved in the beginning and end of a release. Other stakeholders are anyone who is getting impacted by the work done by the scrum team. Typical examples are senior management, senior members from the business, technical support team for transition, professional services team, etc.